dear free people welcome back to my channel in case today is your first time of coming to my channel you're highly welcome and if you're wondering who is talking my name is faith if you're right this place and to my returning subscribers i say a very big thank you to you all for how far you have taken me to i do not take it for granted i do appreciate every bit of every of my video that you do watch do appreciate all of this okay <laughs> today i also welcome you into today's video so in today's video i'll be talking about welcome um resumption school has resumed children is going back children has come is going back to school and as a parent there's something and there's need there's something you need to do for your kids okay so in case you don't know what to do for your kids some children have resumed last week last week yes lagos resumed on the fifth and the Lagos and Delta and Portacot are resuming today, which is 12th of September. So before your children resume, first of all, I do I want to thank you for how far you have taken these kids because they are our future of tomorrow. Thank you for how far you have been taking care of these children. Thank you for God's grace upon your life as a parent because it's not easy. Some have five, some have seven, some have eight in this hardship, in this hard time. God has been helping you. You have been taking care of these children, paying their school fees. You will not be left out in this season. Also, guys, there is something that is expected of you to do as your children are going back to school, okay? So I'm going to be sharing three points now. Number one point is that God is going to bless you. God will bless you. Your children will never sit at home. People will never ask you, why is your children not going back to school, okay? The grace of God will be with you. You have the money, the school fees to pay. You have the money to also buy their, their, their books. You have the money to take care of them. You have the money to feed them. You will not borrow to do all of this. The Lord will help you. The Lord will lead you. As you go out for this season to Qatar to pay for these children's school fees, to do all of this for them, they do appreciate it. So I pray for you this day that the Lord will help you. As you do all of this, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The second point is that pray for these kids. They need your prayer. Yes, so many things happen in the school. The devil has taken over the school these days. Okay, but the Lord will not allow any evil to happen to our children. As they go to school, pray for them. Lay your hand upon your children. If anoint them, anoint them as they go back to school. Now, as they go back to school for this first time, they will finish their first time in peace. They will come back. You will see them. None of our children will get get missing. None of our children will fall ill. None of our children will put us in a stagnant situation. Okay, the Lord will help you. As they are going back to school, you need to protect the children spiritually. You need to surround their lives spiritually, okay? So if you have not done this before your children resume, it's not too late. You can still do that. Pray for your children and knife them. No evil, no evil teacher will see them. No evil student will initiate them into any evil kingdom. The Lord will protect them as they go to school, as they come in. And also, to come it all, the Lord will also give them wisdom and understanding to study and to come out first. Because every prayer of every parent is for their children to do well. There is no parents that will feel happy when the children goes to school and come out as last position. Okay? So, it's, 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 it's a joy of every parent that when they see their children's um, um, uh, report card and it's showing a good result. It gives you joy. It even makes you to work harder for them. But when the children, when a child is not doing well, I know the parents will never feel happy about that. So these children, whatever you're doing for your children, whatever money you're lavishing on your children, you owe them prayers. So pray for them as they are going back to school, okay? So the last one but not the least is for you to advise your children. Your children need advice, okay? You need to really advise your children. There are children. There are some children that when they go to school, they will start picking what does what does not belong to them. They will start collecting what does not belong, like pencil, books, biro. So even some children go to the extent, like those that are bought in the school, go to the extent of collecting other people's food to eat. Advise your child. Whatever that does not belong to them, whatever you didn't buy for them, don't allow them to bring it to your home. And also make sure you search their bags whenever they come back for to school whenever they, well sorry manta biri whenever they come back from school okay also make sure you go through their books go through their bags know what's inside their bags know what's inside there you know what you have bought you know what you have paid in school if what you have what you have not paid in school is inside your child's bag you should find a way to 
go to their school and return that okay because most times that is where this stealing starts from you see a child start taking what does not belong to her and the parents is not talking about it your parents you are not um, correcting them from that telling them that this thing is does not belong to you i never buy this this uh, biro or i never buy this pencil for you you have to return it that is what i do for my kids whenever they come back from school i shake their bags there was a day i came back from work and i saw somebody uniform inside my son's uh, school bag I, I asked my sister that was staying with me who owns this uniform she told me it was um uh, that that was what he wore back to back from school to the house i said why but he had his uniform so I, I have to call the teacher to know why my son was giving under giving under person's uniform to wear and i was told that he was purging at that but sorry nepal has taken our lights and this place is a bit dark please just manage with me thank god the light is back so um, my sister told me that um he wore it from school to the house so i have to call the teacher to find out what happened he said my son was pushing in school and um he pushed he put on his uniform and they have to give him the extra uh, uniform that they have in school so i told him that i i do not want that if there's anything that is wrong with the child then let me know so that i can send someone to the school i have somebody who is staying with me so i can send somebody to the school so that i can give you what him or him can wear so by so doing by searching or by getting close to your children it will uh, uh, enable you to know what they are up to okay i've seen some parents when they see something that does not belong to their child they will say hey, it doesn't matter after all, my child lost his pencil or after all, my child lost his viral maybe that is why he has to take some no you don't have to take that but when the child start taking from pencil, the child will start taking biro, he starts stealing book. From book, the child will come to your house and he starts going into your pot to take meat from your pot. From pot, he will graduate from going into your pocket to collect money from your pocket. From your pocket, the child will not graduate of carrying gun to go and steal. You understand? So that is it. So as they are going back to school, we have a duty to do as a parent. Not only paying a big, not only paying a uh, lavishing money on them, and also make sure you know what your children eat. Okay, as mothers, always prepare your children's food. I've seen people early morning they've carried they carry their children's a uh, uh, cooler. They are going out to buy mama put. No, now give your children a reasonable and matured and reasonable food. Good food. Your these kids need good food to grow. Okay, so make sure you advise them. Whatever I did not buy for you, do not take it. Whatever your daddy did not give you, do not take it. Advise them. I have these three points. I think it, it has helped me. That's what I do. I pray for my kids as they are going back to school. I advise them as they are going back to school. And I also pray for myself because I know they are going back to school. We need to pay their school fees. We need to change their shoes. We need to change their stockings. You need to buy their books. You need to do a lot of things for them in this uh, in this um, term. Okay, so guide your children. Guide your children. The growth and the training of your children lies in your hands. Let's not leave the children to their tents. Guide them. That is why you are there as a parent. As they are going to school, these three points will really help you. Pray for your children. They need your prayers. So many things has happened in the school that you do not know. So many child we are taking to the school with good behavior. But all of a sudden, because of bad uh, bad character or bad friends or bad association, their character changed. Or because of what the teacher, most of the teachers do bull the children. So you need to be close, you need to be close to your children. You need to know what your children are going through. Don't be too harsh on them as to get what you need as a parent from them. Okay? So guide your children as they are going back to school. As you do so, with these few points, I know you will comply. Okay? So I'm come to, I've come to the end of the, today's topic. So as you do, as you pray for your children, as you advise them, and as you pray for yourself for God's open door for God to bless you so that your child will not your children will not stay in the house and people start asking you why are they not in the school even you as a parent will not be happy pray for yourself as they're going back to school that God will help you open doors for you 
Pray for them as they are going back to school that God will protect them and guide them and give them knowledge and understanding. Advise them not to steal. Advise them not to uh, associate with bad morals. Advise them not to associate with bad friends. Advise them. Tell them the good things they need to know. Okay? And as you do so, may the Lord bless you. You are blessed. None of our children will sit at home in this time. The Lord will help us. They will all go back to school. They will do well. Our children will come out as, uh, uh, with flying colors. Our children will do well. They will come out with first. None of our children will fail their exams. None of our children will do bad. They will all do well in their education in this season. May you be blessed. Till I see you again in my next video. In case you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you have watched me to this uh, moment, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thumbs up. Share my videos to family and friends. To those who don't know that prayer is needed as the children are going back to school. To those who do not know that they need advice to go back to school. Just share the videos to everyone that needs to know about this video, about this three points. As this so may the Lord bless you. Take care. Have a lively weekend. Bye.